The liquid metal on your PS5 could be causing major problems. Let's talk about it. Sony used liquid metal on their PS5, which works great for cooling, but unfortunately that liquid metal can oxidize and create a dry spot on the APU and heatsink. This dry spot can cause the PS5 to overheat or it can actually just cause it to randomly turn off. Unfortunately, you may need to take your PS5 apart periodically to respread the liquid metal, but today I'm gonna show you how to do it correctly. This video is sponsored by BW100, more on them in a minute. I'm gonna be using a PS4 1015A model, but this applies to the 1000, 1100, and 1200 series of PlayStation 5. When you're disassembling your PS5, you're gonna find connectors like this. What I use is a pair of nice sharp needle nose pliers, and what I do is I grip on each side of this white connector with the wires going into it. Do not pull from the kind of cream colored connector. That half of the connector is attached to the motherboard and you don't want to pull that off or else you have to learn how to solder to put it back on. So I'm just going to grip both sides of the connector that is the white part of the connector, rock it back and forth as I pull up. And there we go. Same with this connector over here. Rock back and forth as I pull. There we go. And then the same over here. Rock back and forth as I pull up. And there we go. While the respreading of the liquid metal is gonna be the same on any model, the teardown is gonna be different depending on the model of PS5 that you have. Now, before we take all these screws out, let's talk about the disk drive connector. Obviously, if you have a diskless PS5, you don't need to worry about this part. But if your PS5 has a disk drive, this metal piece right here is a locking tab. You need to push down on the locking tab, pull back, rock back and forth with your fingers as you pull the connector out and it'll pull out nice and clean. It's got little ears on it, one on each side. If you don't do that, it'll tear the ears off and you probably won't be able to get that back in. These little connectors up here, you just get a pry tool, slip it underneath the connector and then kind of rock back and forth with your pry tool and that'll get these wires pulled right up. For this type of connector, there is no locking tab. So you just rock back and forth as you pull out. And now we got it. Now we can get all these screws out. Now, while you're in here to respread the liquid metal, one of the things you need to make sure and do is clean out your heat sinks. This heat sink right here, it's got quite a bit of hair on it. And for PS5s, they're very sensitive to the heat sinks being plugged. So you can see all that hair coming off just from that one tiny heat sink. The larger heat sink is down here, and we'll take a look at that in a minute, but it doesn't look quite as bad. PS5s are way more sensitive, in my opinion, to clogged heat sinks than the PS4 was. And since you're already in here, you might as well just give it a good cleaning. And now we can remove this top metal plate, which will let us get down to the APU clamp. Once that's removed and this ribbon cable's removed, we can take the motherboard out and have a look at that liquid metal. This ribbon cable can also be difficult to remove. We got the silver locking tab on the back that I'm gonna push down on with my fingernail and then rock back and forth and pull out. And now we have that removed without doing any damage. And now we can pry up the board. See how the liquid metal looks. And here we go. And there we go. Got a nice big dry spot on this one. BW100 is a great cleaner for almost all electronics because it evaporates quickly with no residue and it's not slippery, it won't damage plastic, and it's also non-flammable. I'm gonna show you how I use BW100 to clean analog sticks on the DualSense PS5 controller. Now I do wanna note that if your analog stick is completely worn out, then no amount of cleaning from BW100 or any other electronics cleaner is gonna get it working again. It just needs to be replaced. For PlayStation and Xbox controllers, unfortunately, you do have to disassemble them to get down to the analog sticks. So the main reason that you can't clean these analog sticks without taking it apart, is you can see this plastic thumbstick cap right here goes all around the actual analog stick down on the board. So what we need to do is remove that cap, just like that, remove the other cap, just like that, and then we can get down inside this analog stick. So what I do is just take BW100 and spray it right down in there. I also spray it down inside here, just to make sure that if there's any debris or hair or anything down there, we also clean that up. So then we go back and forth like this, and then up and down like this, 
a whole bunch of times and that just helps clean everything out. And that's how I use BW100 to clean the analog sticks on PlayStation and Xbox controllers. I'm gonna leave a link right in the description so you can try out BW100 for yourself. So right here you can see this huge dry spot on the APU. This is very oxidized right here. And then the same thing down here on the heatsink part. Now before we get to addressing this dry spot on the APU and heatsink, one of the things I feel like I need to address is this rumor going around that you shouldn't stand your PS5 up vertically because the liquid metal could leak out. In my opinion, that's very, very, very unlikely. The only time I've ever seen that happen is the PS5 repair video that I did where I tried to fix a PS5 that tech racks dropped off of a staircase. And when that PS5 landed, that caused the liquid metal to leak out. But just in normal everyday scenarios, I don't think you have to worry about the liquid metal leaking out just from having your PS5 up vertically. In my opinion, Sony has done a pretty good job of keeping the liquid metal contained in this area just by the APU itself. This whole piece right here, this sponge and then this gray piece behind it is connected to the APU down here by some adhesive, pretty strong adhesive. And I don't see any way that the liquid metal would leak out of that. Unless, like I said, the PS5 experiences some sort of fall. The other thing about this dry spot and oxidation on the APU is that this could be either caused or exacerbated by a PS5 that has not been cleaned and, and has debris and hair clogging up the heat sinks. This causes the PS5 to run hotter, which could cause this to oxidize more than it normally would. So that's just another reason to keep your PS5 nice and clean. One of the things about keeping your PS5 up vertically is the liquid metal does seem to kind of like pool in the lower area of the APU when it is up vertically. I personally recommend just keeping it horizontal, but I do know that there are a lot of people that have had no problems at all keeping theirs up vertical. So right now you can see that there is a lot of liquid metal kind of pooled on this end of the heatsink. And when I move it so it's more vertical, you're gonna see this liquid metal move down to the bottom. Watch this. See how it's moving? So that tells me that if your PS5 is up vertical, it has a lot more of a chance of the liquid metal pooling down to the bottom of the APU. That's my opinion on that. Let's get to taking care of this oxidation. Now I've found one of my favorite ways of taking care of oxidation is just taking this, um, it's, it looks kind of like a Q-tip. It's not a Q-tip. I actually like these a lot better than Q-tips. But what we need to do, this came in the kit with the liquid metal. And I'll leave a link for the liquid metal I use in the description. So you can also uh, use that same kind if you want. But this comes in with that kit of new, new liquid metal. Now, as you see, I'm just rubbing the top of the APU with this. And as I rub it, it gets a lot more shiny and gets that oxidation off. So I'm actually going to go through and rub against the whole surface of the APU. And then I'm going to respread the liquid metal after that. See how that's kind of like dull and not very shiny? But as I keep going, I'm gonna go right in the middle here. You can see how nice and shiny it's getting. So as I go around and get all the oxidation off, then the liquid metal is gonna flow much better over the surface of the APU. Now this is what you'll get in your kit of liquid metal. And what I do is I take the syringe and I pull up a bunch of this liquid metal that's out here. So then I can put it back onto the APU and then I can rub that around.
and now you can see that that oxidation is all gone and the liquid metal has contacted the entire surface of the APU and that's what it should look like. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the heatsink side. Now on this part, I'm actually having a trouble even getting all the oxidation off. So I'm actually gonna use some isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip and just come in here and remove it that way. Look at that, Look how black that Q-tip is. Okay, and now with most of that removed, I'm gonna come in with my liquid metal, respread it and rub it around and get nice contact. And then we'll be done with that process. And then we can put the motherboard back on. This is gonna ensure that we have great contact between the heatsink and the APU, and this PS5 is ready to go back together. But before we finish putting it together, remember I said we needed to check this heatsink down here? There's one other thing we also need to check. We need to remove the two screws holding the power supply in. With those two screws removed, we can just take this whole sandwich out right here. just like that. And then we can look and see a major issue. This right here is causing very little airflow into the power supply, and the power supply needs that airflow to stay cool enough for the PS5 to stay powered on. If this gets too plugged, then there's not enough cooling to cool the PS5 air supply. Air supply. If all these holes get too plugged, then there's not enough air moving through the power supply to keep it cool enough, and your PS5 can just turn off. If you remember when I was talking about the dry spot on the APU, it seems like the worst dry spots are usually partially caused by plugged heat sinks and plugged power supplies. So again, make sure your PS5 stays clean and you'll probably have a lot less problems. And now the other thing we need to check is all of the heat sink fins. So we have one heat sink over here, right over there, and then another one right up here, and you can already see We've got some issues. There's some debris right here. That can cause a problem. Usually just that amount won't cause a huge issue, but it really doesn't take too much on these PS5s to cause an issue. And then it's hard to see, but between these two, there's also a little bit of debris. So these all need to be cleaned out. There's a lot of just like standing dust right here on this PS5. So this is all stuff that can cause the PS5 to overheat and or just turn off. So that is how to respread the liquid metal on your PlayStation 5. If your PS5 needs a cleaning, I'm gonna put my PS5 cleaning video up on your screen now so you can come hang out with me over there and watch how to do a proper cleaning on the PlayStation 5. Don't forget to check out BW100, links are right in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have a good one.